Let's go and see what Chef Mark is making this morning in the Beko kitchen. It's Friday, Mark. What have you got for us? Right, we've got a gratin, but we've got a special mm, gratin yum. today. Got these beautiful butternut pumpkins in season now, so we're going to use a we're going to do a pumpkin uh, gratin. We've got crispy bacon in there, yum. glazed in maple syrup. You know, we've got two cheeses in there, oh. breadcrumbs, oh. walnuts, walnuts even, lots of herbs in there. It's going to nice. be absolutely fantastic. Okay, that is sounding delicious. Can't wait to see how it's going to turn out a little later on. Right now, though, it is pumpkin and potato gratin. This <laughs> It's going to be fantastic. Well, uh, are we underway already, are we? Got yeah, the pumpkin ready to go. So basically, what you want to do is peel the pumpkin. Yep. So just take time doing that, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to square it off because I've got a square. Well, I've got a rectangle mould where I'm going to build the pumpkin. In. Yum. So if you square it off into little sections like that, yes. You can either get a sharp knife and just slice it. Don't want it too thin, otherwise, it's, as it cooks, it will just all blend in. Okay. So sort of. Thinish about, yeah, slices, about you know, a millimetre or two. Yeah, 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 something like that. So you can keep. We're going to keep slicing that. Okay. And you can do it on a mandolin if you want. Okay, nice. If you really want to. Uh, right, I've got a pan on here. Yes. So you're in charge of cooking some bacon. Nice. I know so how to do that. Nice bit of colour, uh, and, we'll, and we'll get it. You know, as it starts to become crisp, and then I've got some maple syrup here, and we're just going to glaze it last minute in some maple syrup. So maple syrup, bacon, classic combination, but that maple syrup and pumpkin as well really brings out the sweetness in the bottom up. Now I said before uh, potato and pumpkin, but there is no potato, is there? There is no, no potato. Okay, you could cool. put potato in here if you want. No, but we're, we're swapping out the potato for the bacon, aren't we? I mean for the pumpkin. Oh, so many flavours in here. <laughs> this is lovely. Okay. All right, so I'm just going just gonna to carry on doing this. So well, <laughs> can I cook bacon and talk at the same time? <laughs> Clearly not. Okay. <laughs> right. So, we, so basically, what you want to do is get all the um, the sections ready, mm -hmm. uh, and then we can uh, we can build it. Okay. So we'll finish slicing the pumpkin. That'll be heaps. Right. right so that's all there. Yeah. Right. You're very good at, sh at uh, cutting that pumpkin. Is it a sharp knife or is it skill? It's a bit of both. A bit of both. <laughs> okay. Right, so we're going to need, uh, we're going to get some cream into there. Yep. So a nice creamy layer. So I've got some creme fraiche. Mmm, yum. That goes in the bowl. Um, a little bit of cream as well. Oh, cream fresh and cream, yum. Cream fresh and cream. That's oh, and it. bacon. A little and bit cheese. of nutmeg as well. I'll be off to Jets a bit further. <laughs> <laughs> How many times a week do you go? Oh, wow. No, I'll tell you what, I'm starting to feel so much better, OK, uh, with all this Jets fitness training. But that means when you do a bit of training, you can have a little treat like this, can't you? That's, yeah. a, that's, that's good, actually. Yep, that's my theory. Right, and then I've got a couple of egg yolks going in here as well. And that's just going to help sort of richen it up, and it's going to help set it as well. So we're just going to mix all that around. A little bit of salt and pepper. Mm. <laughs> this is smelling so good. And then that's that's good to go for our cream layer. Bacon's cooking. Yes, We've it is cooking. We've got our pumpkin sliced. Going to chop a little bit of rosemary up as well. Oh, yeah, good. So the best way to do this, grab your uh, sprig. Yeah. And then just go back down in, in the sort of the opposite way. Nice and easy. Yeah. And you just get all these, uh, get all the little leaves off. Yeah, on the stalky bits. No, no, take the stalky bits out. And then sharp knife again. We're just going to chop that up. And that's a great combination as well. Mm. Um, rosemary and uh, pumpkin. Yeah. Really good one. Yeah, there's nice. And this is a great one, you know, and you could do this completely vegetarian. You know, there's enough ingredients and textures in here. You don't even need the bacon in here. I just did, added that because I know you like bacon. I know, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and that's a good thing too, because you don't have to necessarily use a, a butternut pumpkin. You could use whatever pumpkin you want. But no, no, butternut yeah. pumpkin's in season at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. No, no, they're really, they're really nice. You could use a normal pumpkin. You could use any vegetable you want in here. You could you could use the potato, the classic potato one. Oh, yep. Uh, Celeriac could be really nice. Parsnip, oh, you know, yeah. anything you want. Okay, nice. Okay, oh, good I need job. To... Look at that. I know. Well, you oh, know, you're nice and crispy. Don't did you? well in there. Right. So Considering the I don't have in. a fork, <laughs> that would have been handy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chef. We need to finish off this gratin. One of my favourites. So we've got the pumpkin sliced. We've got everything going like the bacon. What are you doing now? Some butter right, in the pan? So, yeah, so we've got a little uh, crispy topping. So yeah. we're going to toast some breadcrumbs. Yeah. So a little knob of butter is in the pan already. Yes. I've got some breadcrumbs. They just go in. We'll give that a light season. And then, uh, and we're just going to get them just, just starting to sort of colour. So a nice uh, golden brown. Mm. I'm going to finish it with some chopped walnuts yeah. and some sage as well, fresh sage. Okay, that's the top then. Yep. So that's going to be the top, right? So we need to get to the top, but we yes. need to layer the um, the pumpkin. So I've got a little bit of greasy paper, 
uh, greaseproof paper yes. in your tin. Mm -hmm. So that goes down first. That'll just help it so when that you goes dip in it the bottom. Out. Yep. Cool. Right, and then what you want to do now is yep. we're going to layer up the pumpkin. Okay. You know, so you can just pop it in. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, yep. nice. You can just go over the top. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Some know, salt and pepper. A yeah, little bit of salt and pepper on there now. Mm-hmm. Know how your chefs work. So, season, season, season. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good, but because we're going to do this every layer, oh, okay. you just just go lightly because yeah. it'll add all it'll all add up. A little bit of your cream layer goes in there now. Brilliant. Then you can pop some bacon on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You know, just you know, I mean, you can chop this up or just leave it in little pieces. Nice, it's gonna be rustic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just rustic. Beautiful. And then, uh, and then we've got some parmesan cheese. So just great, be generously um, great uh, over the top of the bacon. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. So is that about enough, you reckon, Chef? Yeah, no, that's good. Cool. That's good. And then just keep repeating it until all your ingredients are um, on. Okay, cool. I can keep, carry on doing that. So we're just going to layer it up, build it up to the top, yep. so to speak. Oh. Okay, great. It must Yum. be this side of the kitchen, which uh, just makes you messy. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's not you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Should have put you on that side ages ago. <laughs> Okay, cool. Might just put a little bit more there. So, so it keep... was that, and then there was salt yeah, and pepper. It. Yeah, a little bit of salt and pepper. Bit. More cream. Okay. Bacon. I mean, as long as you sort of roughly get in, you know, those layers. I mean, it's all, you know, it's all going to go together, so you don't have yeah. to be too uh, sort of pedantic. Okay, cool. Then by the time you get to the top, you've used all those ingredients. You know, you've got that cream. Um, that, that's what's going to be the glue. I'm going to keep it all together. Oh, yum. So you are going to press it down and make sure that sort of like touches all the ingredients. Okay, so I can use some of these rough off cuts around yeah, the yeah, side of the yeah. bowl. No, no, yeah, that's cool. fine. You know, that, and that's it. So there's no wastage. Once you peeled it, chop everything and get it all in there. Um, and take us through some, oh, I need to forgot the parmesan. Take us through what you're doing with those um, breadcrumbs there. Right, so I've just got this in, in some melted butter. And you can see now we're just starting to get a light colour. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put a sage in there now. And I'm going to put some walnuts in. Give that a good toss around. So really nice sort of toasting, not not a brown toasting. Yeah, just a really light one. Because we're going to pop this in the oven, so it's going to be about another 30, 40 minutes in the oven just to bake, about 160 degrees. So you will get some extra colour on the, your um, breadcrumbs a little bit later. You know, the pumpkin's just going to soften and, you know, the, the cream's going to reduce, become richer, the eggs are going to set, it's going to hold everything together and it's going to be a nice hearty... Uh, Dinner. This is beautiful too. Right. And as you said, you can do it vegetarian styles if you want. Oh, you, you, you keep it vegetarian, change the vegetable out, anything you want. Am I a bit stingy on the sauce? A little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Okay, cool. A bit slow. Okay. Oh, a bit <laughs> slow even. <laughs> That's it. So we'll oh, get, pour it on. We'll get, get, get okay. it all in there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> It's all going to be pressed down anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's, you know, it is nice to take your time and get those perfect layers when you slice it. Oh, geez, not, I am really throw it all in Just trying to be precise. Right, that's it. So, okay, you know, get the rest of that in. A bit more parmesan on top. Oh, did you put parmesan, parmesan between the layers? Yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> I did. So, nice bit of parmesan on top. And then some blue cheese as well on top as well. Blue okay, cheese, cool. pumpkin, bacon, oh, classic combinations. Is this is going to be this. great. This is going to be, oh. I hope you're hungry. So, I just am. crumble that over. Cool. And then, got our breadcrumbs. Okay, so once you've built it up, it's pretty quick, isn't it? Once you've got all the elements yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 do, all, do all your elements, so you've got all your mise en place there, and then you can just build it all up. Look at that, different textures, flavours. Oh, it's going to be great. And that goes in a hot oven, 160 degrees, about 30, 30, 40 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. Job done. <laughs> oh, come on, speed that up, because I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> right, through the magic of television, this will be cooked by the time we are ready to serve it up at the end of the show. And if you want to make this tonight, or over the weekend, perfect for a Sunday brunch, you can get the recipe at our website. And from bacon the sheep to bacon and pumpkin gratin. <laughs> a little Great. awkward, but I tell you what, that smells good. <laughs> Brilliant, Mark. Thank you so much. Looks crispy as well. What are you doing on Monday? Right, on Monday I've got a Lancashire tower.